And I just got to be free, yeah, free, free. And I just got to be me, yeah, yeah, me, me. Oh. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this crazy house and this crazy bit of news that I just got to share with y'all. And I ain't mad about it. Uh, black armed protesters march through Confederate Memorial Park in Georgia. Okay, let's see how this turns out. A group of predominantly black armed protesters marched through a Georgia Memorial Park on the 4th of July calling for the removal of a carving of Confederate officials. A group named Not Fucking Around Coalition, NFAC, marched through Stone Mountain Park on Saturday with many protesters holding rifles, including military-style weapons and some wearing ammunition belts. The protesters called for the removal of the nine-story high monument depicting Confederacy President Jefferson Davis and two Confederate generals, Robert E. Lee, Thomas Stonewall Jackson. The location of the monument also served as a site of the Ku Klux Klan rebirth in 1915. Videos posted online show scores of protesters dressed in black and wearing face scarves during the protest. One clip showed the leader challenging white supremacists while shouting into a loudspeaker. I don't see no white militia, he said. We're here. Where you at? We're in your house. Let's go. Bank John Bankhead, the spokesperson for the Stone Mountain Memorial Association, said about 100 to 200 protesters were peaceful. It's a public park, a state park. We have those protests on both sides. Now, we have them on both sides of the issue from time to time. We respect people's First Amendment right. We understand the sensitivities of the issue here at the park now. So we respect that and allow them to come in as long as they're peaceful. Um, and he said, which it has been. Protests come as calls to remove Confederate monuments were ignited after the death of George Floyd while in Minneapolis in police custody. Back here in May. The park had reopened for the holiday weekend after being shut down because of the coronavirus pandemic. It usually hosts a laser and fireworks show in front of the carving. But this year, the show was canceled because of the virus. You know, it is amazing to me that Stonewall Jackson, Robert E. Lee, these guys were traitors to America. They were traitors. And the people that are stupid enough to say take down the statues of Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King's whole MO was I want to love y'all in spite of all these things you're doing to us. Um, which was a, a philosophy that he took on from Mahatma Gandhi before him. Uh, the art of, you know, passive resistance. Um, the location and the Ku Klux Klan, um, and there's nothing loving or peaceful about the history and 
the nature of Robert E. Lee, Stonewall Jackson, or the Ku Klux Klan. There's nothing lovable about the characteristics unless you love hate. Unless you love hate, there was no way in the world you could say you could be proud of the history of these traitors. Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson. And so look at your history. Your history is regurgitating, regurgitating a hypocrisy to tell us that you could, you know, do what you did to the Rosenbergs and call them traitors. Ah, ah, stop. No. No. Ah, stop. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, you know, <laughs> she didn't took me all off my game because she's trying to eat the wire and had to stop her. But what I was going to, I was saying that to say this. I don't know what y'all think about a white, them calling out a white militia. Saying we're here, we're here, we're here. Where you at? Um. So, is the mantra or the battle to have a gunplay with the white militia? Because if that's where your head is at, then I think that some of them people that's not strapped, that's walking with you, are they aware? Is that that that's the uh, mantra, and that's where where we're going? Because if they're then if they're not, then that's not fair to them. Then you should have um, just your strap friends, and just in my opinion, because if you got a house wife there with her two children, and she's marching, and you got other people that join her this march, and they got uh, rifles and, and shotguns and whatnot, she might not want to be involved in that type of uh, virus because she know what she got to lose. She know what she coming for. Now, she might have only participated because she wanted it to be a peace march. You, those are the things you have to understand, especially when you're doing community organizing. You got to have your soldiers and you got to have the uh, the people that are peaceful protesting. And you, have, you can't mix them up. You just can't. So, anyway... That was a, you know, that, that's a pretty interesting um, story to me. What y'all think about that? Y'all think it's okay to call out them with them rifles and they got theirs and this how we gonna roll? Um, leave a comment below. Let me know. Be honest about it. Don't lie. <laughs> See you in the next video.